Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to create this amazing PowerPoint presentation using morph transitions, PowerPoint animations, and 3D models. Also, you can download the template from the description for free. Make sure to finish the video to get the full information of transitions, animations, and 3D models. The first step is to create a blank slide. Right click, then go to Format Background and change the background color to red. Now go to Insert, and place the McDonald's logo picture there. After that go to Animations Panel, and give that logo a wipe animation, and select Effect Option up from left. In set duration of 1.25. You will now need to create a new slide. Make the background gradient by filling it with this gradient. Go to Insert, and insert the image of wooden table like this. Put the wooden table on the bottom of the slide, and increase its size in order to fit it in. Then, place an image of a burger at the center of the wooden board. Duplicate the slide number 2, and decrease the slide size to get the better view. Take wooden table out of the slide. Reduce the size of the burger and place it in the center. Then, go to insert and place images of tomatoes, onions, and lettuce there. You can easily get them from Google. You can set them up however you like. Go to Insert and add a text box to the slide. Write Fresh. Change the font of text and set size of text to 138. Give text a white fill. Now right click on the text. Go to Format Shape and select text options. Select the text there and give it no fill, and a white outline. Right-click on the burger, and bring it to the front. Duplicate the text on the slide and adjust it like this. You should write burger instead of fresh. And then again bring the burger to the front. You can adjust the text as you wish. Change the spacing of the text by selecting the text, and changing it to loose. Make the same changes to the burger text as well. Make a copy of all these elements. I'm taking out burger because it's in front of these, and I can't select them. Then paste these elements in second slide, and put burger again on its place. Put these elements in the center of the slide, and bring burger up to cover them. 
After that copy all the text from slide number 3, and paste them into slide number 2. Change it to a very tight spacing so it fits behind the burger. Now right click, select format shape, click text options, and change the transparency of text to 100. And bring burger to the front. Then go to transitions, and apply morph transition to slide number 3. After that copy all elements from slide number 2, and paste them in slide number 1, and take them out of the slide. Then apply morph transition to slide number 2. Now create a new slide. Then right click, select the format background option, and apply the gradient as we did before. Now go to insert, and select 3D models. Click on all animated models. From there select this burger 3D model, and insert it. Now go to 3D Models, click Scenes, and select None. Increase size of the model and adjust it as you want. Then insert the text, and adjust them like this. Now duplicate the slide. Delete all the previous text. Then increase the size of the 3D model, and set it like this. Then insert the text you want, and arrange them like this. Again duplicate the slide. Set the 3D model as shown. Then delete the existing text, and insert new one. And then arrange the text like this. Again duplicate the slide, and do the same procedure as we do before. Insert the text. Now add a new slide. Go to Format Background and give the slide a red color. Then go to Insert, and insert the picture of McDonald's logo.
Increase its size and place it in the center of the slide. Then insert the text in the slide. And after that insert the 3D model again. Go to 3D models, select scenes and click on scene number 3. And increase the size of the model. Now select the text, go to animation panel, and apply wipe animation to the text. Give effect option of from bottom. Now copy elements from each slide one by one, and paste them into their previous slides like this. Paste them all out of the slide. Lastly, select all the remaining slides, go to Transitions, and apply Morph Transition. Here you are done with this amazing PowerPoint slide. You can add the data you want in this template. Click the link in the description to get this template for free. For more tutorials like this, subscribe to my channel.